This is the story of Roy O'Brien. He lives in an ordinary house on an ordinary street. The only trouble is, he doesn't look very ordinary. All Roy really wants is to fit in. But it's very hard to stay out of trouble when you're a cartoon. Roy! It's Saturday afternoon in the O'Brien household and time for the weekly chores. Bill. Yeah? How come every weekend I end up doing the housework? It's my weekend too. <laughs> I do my share. Uh, uh, how? Well, it's all about getting a work-life balance, isn't it? Bill. Right. Your turn to clean the bathroom. Sure, I hardly use it. And you're going to need a plunger. OK. Becky! Roy! Bad news, lads. You drew the short straw. Oh, no, not the bathroom. Oh, yes, the bathroom. And the, Don't stick the plunger on your head again, Roy. Remember the last time? I've got a geography <laughs> test. <laughs> yeah, right. I do. And the passions, the development of stratocumulus clouds. Oh, right, that one, yeah. Well, you're probably better off having a break, love. You don't want to burn yourself out. The cleanest stuff's under the sink in there. sick but Becky's making me do all this work. He's such a liar he's done nothing so far. <coughs> I think you better have a little lie down love. Becky can finish off here. I have a geography test. Since when? I'm serious. See you later love. Hang on where are you going? Supermarket. That fridge won't fill itself you know. Oh. Come on little man let's get you into bed. I love being little. <laughs> Spicy Mexican pizza. My favourite. We should let Dad do the shop every week. <gasps> All right there, love? Yeah. I just got a bit of chilli. Oh, right, Becky, water, quick. Oh, yeah, Roy do it. He does nothing. Well, that's not true. I'm going to help you out with this, Ma. <laughs> yeah. Roy. Right. It's all... <laughs> Disgusting, Roy. I'm going to go out and get some air. Bring me out a glass of water, love, and clean up when you're finished for a change. Hey. <laughs> right, you two. You heard your mother. You two are going to clean up when we're finished, all right? Dad, it's not fair just because he's the baby. You know, I was the same when I was a baby. I was getting away with things. You still do. Bill! The water now! Ah! She hasn't been in a mood like that since she was expecting you. You couldn't talk to her for the entire nine months. <laughs> oh, deadly! <laughs> what do you want? Listen, I just thought you should know. Ma's having a baby. Whoa, 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 whoa! Rewind there! Ma's having a what? A baby. But I don't think we're supposed to know. You're just trying to wind me up. No, she's not. Suit yourself. But from what Dad says, your days of being the little man are over. For today's history lesson, Mr Hammond has gone back to the Dark Ages. Dublin has a rich Viking heritage dating back to the early... Ninth century. The Vikings first arrived here in boats called long ships. And what's that? You, 
It's not a banana, so. No, it's not a banana. Oh, right. Oh, God. Uh, it's a... There. All right? Happy? Long ship. <laughs> That's not that funny. There. Right, look, let's move on, shall we? Really? Write it down. This is torture, Paul. Really? Oh, I feel the same. My... He is crushing them with facts and figures. Look. Yes, yes, he certainly has an old-fashioned teaching style. And no place in a school like this. I want fire in my teachers, Paul. I want passion. <laughs> Clon McKnight, or as some people would say, Clon McNeish. Important date, 10.41. Now write it down, everybody. Hey! Roy! I just think the kids would benefit from a more modern approach. Miss Jervis, Miss Jervis, I think you'll find I'm as modern as the next man. Right, well, maybe we could put more emphasis on fun and interaction. Miss Jervis. <laughs> I made up a little saying once. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> think about it. Thank you, Derek. <laughs> Bill? Do you need anything recycled? There's a charity van doing the rounds. Hi, love. Mr. Bear! Oh, to think you used to fit into this. Still, isn't it great to know another little fella's going to get wear out of this? No! He's not having it, it's mine! Roy! And he's not having Mr. Bear either. Ma's having a baby. Isn't it great to know another little fella's gonna get wear out of this? Your days of being the little man are over. safely say that we've seen it all now. Oh, Roy! <laughs> there! Oh, who's my gorgeous boy? You are! He's not really a baby, Ma. He's just messing like usual. Come on, Roy, snap out of it. Ah, Becky, who's my favourite Ben? Who's my favourite Ben? Mama! Yeah, did you hear that, <laughs> Becky? I am your mama. It's a good job I didn't throw that out, wasn't it? Did you just change him? Yeah. I'd check it again if I was here. That's only your imagination. There's nothing wrong with him. He's just faking it. Be careful. No, no, he's still making me. He used to love this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my days. Hanging around. Right. Yeah, I'll take it. I do, bo, 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 bo. There you go. Becky, you keep an eye on him. Let's get this cop built. Okay, Roy, you can. Ow. Oh, Mom! <laughs> 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 
Let go of him, will you? Let go of him. Don't let me drill, will you? Me, let go. Go and let me drill. That's my boy. Oh, no. That's you, is it? Yeah. It's you. Oh, it's not him. Oh, 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 you know, when children start acting younger than the years, regressing, it's usually a sign of stress. When I saw Roy this morning, he was quite clingy to his mother, but he, other than that, he was a fairly normal, boisterous one-year-old. I've advised his parents to give him lots of extra love and attention, and I'm fairly certain Roy's going to return back to his normal size. It's your turn! I got up the last time! <laughs> Shut up! I've got my chest in the morning! Right, fine. <laughs> I suppose the youngest in the family always gets the most attention. And when you're a cartoon as well, it's hard for anyone else to get a look in. On the plus side, it leaves me free to sneak out to Sandra's party on Saturday night without anyone noticing. <laughs> Are they going to see this? But why can't we just put him in a creche? No way. Dr Rashid said he needs some extra love and attention. That, that's all well and good, but where does that leave us? Because the two of us have to go up and go out to work. I know that, Bill, OK? Well, it looks like one of is going to have to give up your job. Oh, well, I did it last time. She did. Right, fine. Never let it be said that I don't do my share. I'll stay at home and look after Roy. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I will. I'll work nights instead. I'll take over here. Come on, you be nice. Go. Here. Don't say anything. Just Fine. go. Come on. Grand, I'm gone. Come on, you too. You'll be late for school. You don't want to be late for your test, do you? Don't worry. I've got it covered. Oh, no. Right. Oh, failed. No. Roy. Roy. Take me eyes off you for two seconds. Right, if I don't get this place cleared up before your man gets home, I'll never hear the end of it. Come in! It's open! Roy. Where are you? Roy, just slow down. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Mr. Amos. Come in. So, I heard the news about Roy. Oh, oh sorry. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I'm just running a little bit behind this morning. Roy? Yeah, that's your half the time you wouldn't know what to be wrong with them. <laughs> Roy! Guess who's here to see you? He was here a second ago. <laughs> oh, good <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I keep him cat. There you go. You wouldn't oh. mind just oh, for a second, thanks. So we just have to find his bottle. Yeah. Mama! <laughs> Don't worry about that. He said that to the postman this morning. <laughs> So, how are you? Huh? Mama. No. Um, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The, the wheels, wheels on, on the, the bus, bus go round and round all day long. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. I wouldn't worry about that. Happens to all of us. <laughs> See that? You're bringing them on already. Yeah. I'm just thinking, if Roy's this effect on me and on you, Roy O'Brien, how would you feel about coming back to Mr. Hammond's class? <gasps> huh? <Yeah. laughs> the wheels on the bus. Come on, come on. Roy, we're going to be late. Just put your. Roy, don't. Just put your feet. Put your feet. Good morning. How are you? Just do it for Daddy. Good boy. <laughs> Just sit. Just don't move, all right? Perfect. <laughs> Very welcome back, Roy. Yeah. Here you go, son. What is going on here? Uh, Roy is joining your Vikings class. Miss Jervis's orders. What? Oh, and listen, he might need a touch of nappy cream later on. Best of luck. Can you grab that there? Yeah. Oh, Brian, I... Oh. <laughs> get off. Oh, Brian, get off. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, then. Go on, Roy. That's your fault. 
Why is that pet roach? Settle down, everyone. Isn't it time for his nap or something? <laughs> Look, sir, Mr. Evans left all these teaching aids to help with Roy. We're not using those today, Tara. Put it away. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, O'Brien. Whatever Miss Jervis might have dreamed up in that happy, clappy head of hers, you have no place in this school, understand? <laughs> See, there, it's in black and white. Children must be four years of age upon entering the school. I stopped by your class this morning. I have to admit, I've never seen your students so happy. <sighs> Happiness is no substitute for knowledge, Miss Jervis. <laughs> what can I say, Derek? Keep up the good work. Mmm, this is actually quite tasty. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> she wants fun, she'll get fun. <laughs> Boys on their toys. I'm having a go. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. If it isn't baby face, though, Brian. Oh. <laughs> a peekaboo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. I was just saying to Roy that I feel insulted that I, that I have to share my educational space with a baby. It's. Well, I have good news for you, O'Leary. Miss Jervis is forcing me to take her fun style of teaching to a new level. So on Friday, I will be taking the entire class on a magical mystery bus tour of Viking Dublin, stopping for hamburgers on the way home. <laughs> Unfortunately, no babies are allowed. <laughs> Health and safety. <laughs> I'm sorry, Roy. You'll have to take it up with Miss Jervis, I'm afraid. <laughs> What's the matter with you now? I failed my geography test today because of you. Mama! Listen, me little squirt. Mm. Ma's not having a baby and she never was, OK? Huh? I only said it because you're so annoying. And now you're even more annoying. Grow up, will you? <laughs> How you love? Dinner's ready. This is looking uh, lovely. Ah. Did you cook that? Yeah. Easy peasy. Oh, it's not working. Oh, hang on, it is working. We can speak again. Fantastic. Go on. Harder. Ready? Ah! Ah! Roy? What if I'm stuck like this? Oh, Roy, I forgot to tell you, you're booked in for your baby jabs tomorrow, OK? Jabs? This is all your fault! Mine. You want to be the baby of the family. Well, now you are. Ugh! You're so mean! I wish you never had a sister at all! Thanks, Roy. Wait! Becky! I'm sorry! It's just what about the jabs? You have to save me, please! You said you didn't want a sister. What? He deserved it. Cup of tea? Yeah, 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 I'll make it. No, 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 I'll get it. No, 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 you've had a hard day. Uh, no, harder than yours. No, it's your luck. I'm up now. Ah, uh, so am I. I'm going to stand off. I'm, I'm, I'm get it. I'm stand. Oh, 
Oi, can you stop dribbling, please? It's kind of yuck. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm teething. And Roy, no offense, but there's a smell. Again? I think you need help with your personal hygiene. Roll up, roll up! The hottest checkers in town. Hammond's Viking Magical Mystery Bus Tour of Dublin. <laughs> One for everyone! <laughs> no grabbing, no grabbing! One for... smell! <laughs> Evacuate the building! the army disposal unit, O'Brien. Your parents will have to foot the bill. But uh, so long as we're enjoying ourselves, what does it matter? Who cares we don't actually learn anything, eh? Derek, uh, you feel all right? Me? Yeah. I'll never better. Huh. So far today I've pureed carrots, sung a lullaby, eased some windy pops and used up a whole tub of nappy cream. Who cares about the children haven't learned anything? Ah, what does it matter? Come on, Roy. It's time for your jabs. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> ah, don't worry about it, Roy. She won't feel a thing, son. <laughs> Roy has an appointment. Yeah, I know. Well, I booked it for him. Oh, well, don't worry, aren't you? Yeah, so you can go home now. No, I'm going yeah. to stay because no, it's, it's fine. my you job can go now. Home. I will you stay. Can... I brought I will him stay over. Guys, with... you can both stay. Okay? <laughs> Great. Okay, Roy. I'm uh, Where's Roy? Roy! 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 Here you go, Squirt. I knew you'd save me. Now let's get something straight first. I can live with having a baby brother, just not one who acts like a baby the whole time. Got it? I can live with having a big sister. You'd better. It's not like I'm going anywhere. Except to Sandra's party Saturday night. What? You know about that. It's okay. I'm not going to tell. Wait, no. Huh? Just leave them to us. You know what? You're not so bad after all, are you? <laughs> oh, Jenny! Oh. 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 Roy! Oh, I think that's your job, love. You know what, love? Off you go. Knock yourself out. Come on. <laughs> Always the mammy, never the daddy. Becky. Becky, come over here and I clean you. No. Come over here and I clean you. I enjoy a bit of fun as much as the next man. But certain people don't seem to realise that there's a time and a place for everything. <laughs> Not bad. Anyhow, my view is that a school environment should be... <laughs> it tickles. Derek, you look wonderful. Yeah, you do realise that I have a fur intolerance, don't you, Miss Jervis? Well, listen, oh, well, um, look, Derek, I know that we've had our differences recently, but... Uh, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, apology accepted. Oh, <laughs> no, what I was actually going to say is that I think that we've both learned something off each other this week. Uh, ah, uh, the bus. OK, <clears throat> well, I hope you enjoy your day, Derek. She knows. She knows she's completely in the wrong. Now, let the Viking adventure begin. Oh, Brian! Back to normal, sir. Isn't it great? So I can go on the Viking trip with you after all. Not so fast, O'Brien. Ticket holders only. Oh, but that's not fair. Just because I was a baby. <sighs> not anymore, O'Brien. Anyway, you don't know the first thing about Vikings. Yes, I do. You can ask me a question if you want. <sighs> All right. 
right. <laughs> right, let's start with an easy one first. Fagin, when did the Vikings first land in Ireland? Oh, I know! I know! Uh, wait your turn, O'Brien. Uh, sir, it's on the tip of my tongue. Well, we could be here all day then, couldn't we? Oh, the ninth century. Correct! Well done. Off you go. <laughs> now, if there's any hijinks today, O'Brien, any sudden shrinking... There won't be, sir. Good. Right, your question. What type of vessel did the Vikings sail in? Banana! No, O'Brien. Oh, no, way, sir! I know it! I know this! Well, then spit it out, man! Come on, Roy. Uh, no hinting. Oh, I can't miss this turn! Then give me the answer! <laughs> 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 long ships. They sailed in long ships. Well done. Right. On the bus. Yes! <laughs> now, Burn, your question. I knew Derek would eventually get the hang of this progressive learning thing. <laughs> Sorry. Everything back to normal, huh? Yeah. And I can't tell you how glad I am. Oh, me too, love. Me too. 